I heard this was a pretty good game. It's got over 50 million downloads in the Play Store at the moment. It's one of the most popular games in the world. So I'm going to try it out here. See if I can get good at it. Monk versus Monk. <laughs> it's the exact same team. Why are they doing this? In your collection with a K. Taking no damage here. Well done. I can see levels to this game. I'm not sure if this is multiplayer, online, or just...
seems pretty basic at the moment. Nothing catches my eye, really. I can see this being okay if I somehow learn how to fight. Pretty sure they just like figured out as many words as they possibly could that begin with a C and just change them to a K in this game. Come on. Looks like they're sending me off to the walls here. Evening login. Cherry Ryo Tower Gold Pack. Well, I had eight messages. Cherry Tower. Mortal Kombat Discord. Ooh, 15 souls. Wow. Face. Oh my god. Zero upgrade available. Spit. Do I want to purchase? What am I buying for 500? I don't know if these coins are like worth a lot, so I'm just gonna like. what to do here. I'm just going to continue to spit, I guess. But one thing I do know about upgrading, it's better to upgrade evenly most of the time, unless you got like a super OP situation. 
where upgrading one thing and leaving everything else the same would be like better. But I guess like everything upgrades clearly as we as we see right here. That I'm buying upgrades with my weekly reward. But it looks like everybody's getting the level up. Or maybe not, maybe not. Fists of Flurry. I don't know how much money I want to spend. I'm, I'm very, I'm very confused right now. I don't even know what to do. Level two. Can't level up. Can't increase stats. I feel like level 5 would be acceptable. Just start on off. Puke. Oh, and his his attack does poison the opponents. His attack costs more to upgrade. He must be better. I feel like a level four would be fine for him at the moment. So I just feel like, in a way, that. Yeah, like, his stats just, even at level 4, his stats just outweigh everybody else's. At level 1, he's better than all my level 2's. So, what I'm going to want to do here, I'm going to... Ooh, fusing. Fusing. So I just got a thousand dollars for that. Welcome to the talent tree. This is where you spend talent points earned in Shao Kahn's tower. Talent points can be spent on talents or be spent on the tier master. The tier meter gives you access to stronger talents. Okay. So, right now, I'm a little confused. 
Can I buy something with these souls? There's a lot of starter bundles here. I may claim, I may purchase one of these once I they give you a free one. Prowler gloves, basic damage attack boost. Oh, that's not bad. There we go, card packs can be bought with souls. You gotta save up, you get card packs. Can buy with coins as well, and obviously they give you a free one. Gotta give them something for free. Gotta get the taste in your mouth. Special attack upgrade levels up X-ray fatal blow attack on the gold character card, which I do not have at the moment. So if I take my Brawler Gloves and I put them on a character by, like let's say I put them on Reptile. <laughs> Upgrade your character supports, make him venomous. on the brawler gloves I guess I can't do that it's not letting me Oh, there we go. So I have to like s swipe it over. Okay, so my brawler gloves are now on Shirai Ryu. Well, I think I've done everything that I can pretty much do and now it's time to get some footing in this game a little bit here. Great graphics, really, so far. You can place your new silver character on your team by pressing the Edit Team button. Okay, well, I don't know what really is going on here. Okay, so we've switched out Saurian for Reptile. I just wasted a bunch of money on Saurian. 
Team 2 is going to include... It's going to take out Monk and put in Reptile. And Team 3 will be... Without Sorin Ryu, just to get a little bit of. I'm gonna go with Team One though most of the time I would think. So I'm not sure if I made the right choice, but we're about to find out. see this being all right. Mindless entertainment. Switch out. Got some coins, got a thousand XP, got I don't have a name yet. My name is New Player. Okay. Yeah, so let's here. Battle Mode 2 of 5, fight to the top. If I can just change my name here, that would be great. Alphanumeric characters only. Oh. White Lotus. Multiplayer faction wars. Select a faction to, to represent in faction wars. Your faction is in the lead at the end of the week. Their prizes. Just get my feet wet. 
This guy's got all level 4. What is this? This is retarded. I can't do this. What do you get for backing out? Quit ladder? Fuck that. I'm fighting this guy. I'm probably going to get my Tookus handed to me with my level 1. <laughs> Oops. Does this man know how to press buttons on his phone screen or what? coins. Oh my guys all leveled up. Well, I just got 600 daggers. <laughs> uh, they're not appearing in my account for some reason. Well, that kind of sucks. Clearly that was not a very hard fight to win. My opponent was clearly not doing his job properly. Oh, and now they give me an even harder... What is this, man? They give me an even harder opponent. Why do they do that? I'm probably going to get my clock cleaned here. Like, if my opponent actually chooses to fight... I'm just gonna keep hammering you, fool. Oh, he switched out just in time. This guy's a tank. Look at this fucker. The more I hit. Oh shit. Switch out quick. Done. Done, boy. Six, three thousand coins and fifteen more of those things. It's a pretty cool game, man. I'm not gonna lie. If I just keep moving up the ladder, why are my opponents so awful at this? <laughs> why are my opponents such bad players? Side mission: Enter quest mode. Send your characters and epic quests. And receive rewards. Select quests to send your characters out on adventures. Characters assigned to the quest may only be used in faction wars. Okay. Zero seconds. Unlocks tower, uncommon equipment. 
10%, 5 and 200. This is not a hard one. Well, how much, how much, it said this quest takes zero seconds, so. And that's it, it's done. And I just got five armor. With a 10% max health boost. 50% resistance to poison bleed unlocks that fusion level X. And I should probably like, when I'm about to like stop the game, like stop playing for a little, I could just put, like for an hour, I could just put the game down and then just like have these players go on a quest. And I'm about to do that. This is where you use potions to improve your chance of gaining better rewards. Try a potion now for free. So with this potion, it lowers the quest duration. It increases XP and increases possible coins and increases additional equipment chance and additional souls chance. You can rush a quest with a speed elixir whenever you want to finish the quest quickly. Use one now to finish the quest. I don't have any. So I'll check back in a little bit on that. But in the meantime, what I can do here is I can try to put this on my reptile is gonna be a behemoth. I can put this shield on or gear. Put brawler gloves on him, but I thought that they were on a different character. So my reptile is a gigantic piece of work for this level. He's just not even, it's not even fair what he does to these people with his acid puke. Like his health is 720, his armor is 656, his damage is 512 and 563. Everybody else is like half of what he does. <laughs> yeah, he's uh he's pretty crazy at the moment. So Sorian's got kicked off Sorian's off the team, but I feel like maybe I made the wrong choice. I'm gonna have to do some research here. I'm gonna have to off camera I'm gonna have to look into this. Of like, what is good and what is not. He's got the support. He's got precision. Well, clearly, if you fuse it again, you can upgrade more. I can buy more stuff. Interesting. 
Interesting. So, there's so many things that you can buy in this game. I'm interested to see what's going to happen here as I continue along this path. I can buy dedication. I don't want to pump too much into them though, that's the thing, like, because they're just... They're going to be used for a temporary period of time, then I'm going to acquire better characters, better cards. I'm probably going to buy a starter pack. Because I'm into this game already. I just don't know what I would buy. So I can like earn a diamond card. I can earn a diamond card just by going up this. Oh, well you kinda gotta beat level 41s. Featured items. Guaranteed rare equipment card and gold character card. Uh. Six guaranteed rares here. I'm gonna have to set a cost limit on how much I buy. I'm gonna have to figure it out. What do you get in this one? 150 souls plus one bonus equipment card. Specially crafted to conquer the Shirai Rai Tower. Challenge event starter pack. Ready for ready your team for this week's challenge and take collect gunslinger Aaron Black. And guarantee a critical hit when using his special attack tool. Five hundred souls and one guaranteed gold collection card. Five hundred souls. What does that get me? That gets me the card pack. That's crazy, man. I can get like so much for just like six ninety nine. Absolutely disgusting. Like, look at her statistics, man. At level one, gold Melina for 450. You can just tear your opponents to shit with that. If 
Fire and Ice starter bundle. Silver starter bundle. 20,000 coins, 90 souls. One level up card. Like, I don't even know what I would want. I don't know what I would even want. Level up pack. 20 level up cards. Two hundred and fifty souls for three Ten unlock one thousand one hundred and forty souls as you level up. Okay, I think I'll pass on that. What else is available? They have so much stuff. What's this wrath hammer that they're fourteen dollars? Plus one bar of power at the start of every match when you open this card. But I want like better characters. I feel like if I, I don't know if that's wrong or right, but I feel like I should fire an ice starter, two characters. I really don't know, man. Right here is it. Because you get 500 souls and one guaranteed gold character card. Yo, watch me fucking... Just watch me go off the handle with this here for seven. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna start my shit. Because I'm, be I'm gonna be playing this game and I'm not an eight ball pool no more. Or poker. Not interested. So I'm gonna try out this game here for now. Five hundred souls. Sub zero, level one. With ice decoy, he replaces himself with a decoy, evading a death blow, and he's uh, just a fiend at level one, man. I think that was my random character that I got. Now I can actually like purchase Molina. I can purchase Molina outright. Oh, I just got a text message. I got an email. I can purchase, I can either purchase Melina, which is probably not what I'm gonna do. I can see about this. I get it one character card, but doesn't say, oh, it's a diamond. Guardian Terminator. One character card, two random, and then level up cards. I can get the Scarlet MK11 Diamond Pack, I can get the Cir but I could even do this like too. I can get an Outworld Pack, and a Challenge Pack, I can get a Gold Pack. So for 533, I can get a Challenge Pack, and an Outworld Pack, I can get two Outworld Packs, Contains a gold character card, two support cards, and 50, 
50,000 coins. I don't know if I'm making the right decision here, but it seems like a good deal. So I'm going to open this pack up here and see what it contains. Knife Fighter, plus three bonus attack for all Kano characters. I don't have any of them at the moment. Birdmate Chameleon for Reptile, so plus three bonus health for my Reptile. Plus three percent. And Kano, there's Kano, Cyborg Eye. Plus 25% critical chance, immune to blind. Not quite as good as Sub-Zero. But I have a lot of coins, man. I can get a silver pack for just coins alone. But it's only gonna give me silver. Like I can literally buy a gold pack right now. I can buy a challenge pack with one equipment card, one gold character card, and five level up cards. Two random cards and one gold character card for 150. But if I go over here again, I can buy another Outworld pack, get another gold character card, then I'll have three characters that are gold, which will be a team. Two more support cards. I hope I don't get duplicate, because that would be kind of awkward. And 50,000 coins, which gives me the ability to buy the equipment pack and still have a bunch of coins left over, and still have souls left over. I'm pretty sure these are on sale, so I'm just going to start off with the Outworld pack. Looks like I'm going to be getting Ermac here. Plus 3% bonus attack for all Ermac cards, Dragonfly Wings, plus 3% regeneration for all Devorah characters. And I've got Dark Lord Kotal Khan. He's actually really good at level 1 by the looks of it. 980 and 980. Summons an Tech Warrior to fight in his place after using a Sword Quake special attack too. Maximum two warriors per battle. Now that I've done that, I can go over here and buy this equipment pack. Start off with one. Sento Blade, 25% unblockable chance on basic attacks, 10% special attack 3, or x-ray fatal blow attack damage boost. Right gear, 5% max health boost. Amulet. 20% resistance to slow and stun. Okay.
Now it's time to set up a team. Welcome to the Feats of Strength. We'd like to gift you a free card pack with rewards exclusive to this mode. Would you like to open it now? Sure. It's also a series of trials that unlocks diverse character and account customizations. However, only gold and diamond cards can attempt feats of strength and showcase the rewards. Some rewards are strength packs. They're stored here until you're ready to open them. I own one and I can buy one for a hundred more. If I offer runes to the Elder Gods. Let's see what's here. Standard Rarity, Machete, Slasher, Jason Voorhees. Icon applies to your war banner. Edit your war banner in the profile menu. Victory stand, surrender, standard rarity. Okay. Strapped. Club covert ox. Cassie. Well, I don't care about any of that stuff. Victory stands. Okay. 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 Well, I can start to I can start to do some slate upgrade, and that's why I didn't want to put too too much into that first team. I just wanted to. To build it up a little bit so I could see if it's actually plausible to, to play this game. Sub Zero is my best one, obviously. Uh, well, actually, we don't know that. We don't know that because each person, each character may not have the best, like, attack and health, but they might have other strengths or whatever, like that, like, help the team or whatever. But on the outside, looking in, Grandmaster Sub-Zero looks like a fantastic team leader, so... I'm gonna buy support for him, I'm gonna buy support... Noob Sabot is coming in. Plus 3% bonus energy regeneration. So he has that. He has Ice Ball. Lone Toss, which is available at level 2. It's available at level 5. It's already at level 2 or level 5. So I'll upgrade his ice ball. Well, I'll spend about 10,000 on the team. Do the same thing as I did with the first team. Put him up to level 5 with his ice ball. Kano has a special equipment. It's already on him, Night Fighter. He's got the Kano Ball. Let's 
So that's level five. He's got equipment. He's got supports. We'll throw a little bit of equipment on him. Throw it right here on him. That gives five percent resistance to damage. Throw baller gloves on him. He's now a baller. Feats of strength. This has absolutely nothing to do with it. Bronze characters only. 1500 to skip. Hold up. Get out of there for a minute. I'm still not even done with my team. I'm putting something on him. I'm putting on it were up here. Central Blade, which gives 25% unblockable and 10% special attack 3 or X-ray fatal damage boost. Putting an amulet, 20% resistance to slow and stun. Um, and then Dark Lord Khan is going to get Three percent bonus energy regeneration, three percent total bonus health, or bonus attack. He seems like a healthy guy. I'm gonna give him plus three percent for attack. I can like all have one support, and now his attack is one k. I'm gonna give him. Nothing, because there's nothing to give him at the moment. He has Buzzsaw, so let's make his Buzzsaw buzz very powerfully here. Grapple, medium damage, plus bleed. And I'll keep 6,000 back. can upgrade someone's special attack on a gold character card. Okay. I want to upgrade Sub-Zero's special attack. Have to figure this out a little bit later, man. 
I don't see a slot to do that, what it says. I don't know if, I probably like, thinking, like, do you get more for battling here, or do you get more for doing, I would think they would give more for multiplayer. But I already fought there, bro. You're entering a new tower. Any progress you made on the current tower will be reset. Are you sure you want to proceed? No, I do. I'm just going to stay in this tower. I'm going to fuck these guys up right now, man. This is not even funny. I've just upgraded my team like 500%. And I'm pretty happy with that purchase. I looked at all the things that I could have gotten, and I think I got a pretty good deal. I don't know if I got the best deal, obviously, because I haven't done any research, but I think I, I, think I did okay. Okay, you guys all got yourselves fucked up, bro. New feats of strength. You win many coins. No, you don't. Just a few. Only Fusion X characters can progress to level 60. That's pretty fucking cool, man. Okay, yeah, gold and diamond cards have powerful x-ray and fatal blow attacks not available to bronze and silver cards, so I don't think I've actually... I gotta get my characters to level 5. I think it's multiplayer that you want to play. I think, I think the higher difficulty of characters you actually beat, the more upgrades, the more level ups you'll get faster. They do level up, but I'm pretty sure I can level up faster in multiplayer. But then again, what do I know? Okay, so... Yeah, Sub-Zero is 1600. So he's pretty expensive. The classic Sub Zero. I got Grandmaster Sub Zero. My Sub Zero is fucking epic. Hard battle, fatal battle. Well, I don't know. I'm just gonna do normal battle. Oh no. This man is going to give me a run for my money. Let's see how I fare against this guy's group of level 13s. <laughs> my level 2s are equal to his level 13s, so... Whatever. Oh, ice ball. Oh, you're getting fucked up. Better switch out. Uh oh. Got his ass kicked. Outstanding. 
Yeah, they just leveled up. Look at them leveling up twice, all the way up to level four and a half. And I get new attacks at level five, so I really want to do that. Your team energy fully restored, 10.14k and 2100 daggers. That's what I win. That's what it's saying. But where are the daggers? Because if I had 21 daggers, I could get a new character right now. Well, maybe that's for my faction for this week in total, and then that kind of gets like split up or something. I don't know. Yeah, but this game's definitely a lot better, man, than the other two games. I'm like taking no damage here, dude. This guy literally just like allowed me to beat his booty to a pulp. Outstead. Look at this. Look at this shit, dude. Like, when do I collect? When do I collect this stuff, bro? Where do I get this? Where do I get all this stuff? Whoever's getting matched up with me is clearly not got their head on straight, man. Because they're just getting annihilated by Sub-Zero at the moment. Like, he's just literally, like, clocking them to death. Well, this is a scary looking fucking thing. Maybe I should save it for when he taps in. Freeze them as they're coming in. Here we go. Just like that. up now. Unlock free souls. Link to console. I don't have console. Collect 40 souls per day for 30 days. 1200 free souls. Any link. I don't have a console. Unfortunately, I don't have a console. But I do have level 5 on all my characters now, so I now have better attacks. Plum toss. And then Deep Craze unlocks at level 20. That is the X attack that you're talking about upgrading. Can upgrade Plum Toss. It now does a little bit more damage. and moan is now available. We're going to be doing a lot of pissing and moaning. Hotel Khan is a fiend. I haven't even had a chance to showcase this man yet. This, we're going to do that. We're going to put it to level 2. Each guy will have a sort of good number two attack. And I'm going to 
gonna do... What would hard battle be? Oh, I see now. Level 25, level 25. Scorpion's pretty good at level. Let me try it. Let me try it. I mean, these guys are good, but... I'm gonna just try it. I'm probably not gonna win. But I may have to go out in the big ball. Of Yeah, you gotta save that for when they're just coming in. Really, they just switch out on you. But I am putting the work to this guy at the moment. They can't even get a hit on me though. Get out of here. Go get something to eat. Oh, and they're leveling up. While I'm doing the ladder, they're leveling up. This is not fair for my opponents, bro. Uh, these guys are going to give me some trouble. My Sub-Zero's health is pretty good. Kotalcon is pretty good. Kino's kind of sucks, but oh well. If I have to put him in, I will. But I'm going to... I want to try... I want to try getting in uh, a second guy here. I want to try getting in the other dude. Not not this man. But they just cannot beat, like, they cannot beat Sub-Zero, bro. Like, why would I even put in another guy? Here, take this. Enjoy this. Have a buzzsaw. Not a very good attack at all. Get in there, Kino. You're gonna die now, so well done. That guy gave me a good one. He gave me a good run for my money. Okay. Now this this opponent here is not gonna this opponent here shouldn't give me any trouble at all. His team is uh, not very good at all. So, got in all the guys there. That was pretty good. It's really good. Start powering up that second attack. You don't want to pull out too early, though. If you pull out too early, if they can't beat your first guy. Why would you take them out? You know what I'm saying? Like, because it. Unless it happens. What ends up, he blocked it. 
what ends up happening is you can't put them back in right away, so if your other guy dies, you're screwed over. That's why you gotta wait. Wait until he's low health, and then take him out. Fighting well in this battle. Is he gonna block it? No, he didn't block it. So I'm dominating the hard mode at the moment. This guy's huge ass characters are still not even comparable to my level 8s. So. out, come on. I'm gonna save up for a second special attack here. Let's finish this son of a, you know what off. Double double freeze. <laughs> well done. Now for the final battle. Duplicate character card that will fuse together to create a more powerful card. That's really nice. I'm glad somebody finally figured out like what to do about duplicate cards in a game. That's really nice. store tab on the 
Kingpin TV channel on YouTube. It's a bunch of gear, new gear created by me, Kingpin. And we can even click over to view on Teespring and it'll take us right to the official Teespring website where the entire store, Kingpin's Tea House, is located. Where all of my merch can be looked at and purchased. Hey man, I uh, really liked your video.